Uh, hello students, so we're almost up to laser cutting. I'd like you to follow along with this process and we're going to see how we can um, take our files from Fusion 360 and onto the laser cutter. So um, here are my plane parts drawn up and at the moment I have an issue where I can't move any of these individual parts. So you may just need to um, follow this process to make them into separate components. So I'm going to click on a part, go to my assemble tab and hit new component. I'm going to make sure I have from bodies selected, click on my part, make sure that it says one selected and press OK. So you can see here we now have a component at the bottom and we can move this part around on its own. So I'm going to quickly repeat that process for all of these parts now. Okay, so at this stage, um, through the magic of video, I've just repeated that process three times and you can see I now have one, two, three, four different components. And I can now pick these components up individually and position them nice and close so that I could minimize waste, okay? There we are. So uh, at this stage, I'm now going to need to save this file in a format. I'll just press my home screen. Uh, I'm gonna need to save this file in a format that is um, readable by the laser cutter. Okay, so once you've created your four components, this is what we do, guys. So we're gonna go over into this list and we're going to Click on component one, hold shift, and click on each of the other components that you have, okay? Um, then still over these um, menu items in the browser, you're gonna right click and create drawing. Boom. Alrighty, so once you've got your create drawing, uh, Make sure that you have the four, all of the components selected. So make sure it says four if there are four items. Otherwise, you might need to just shift and click if any of the items have become unselected. Now, a quick caveat. If this window didn't appear, it may be that you haven't saved your original parts file. So you may have to have a different window. You may have to save it and then just repeat the steps we've done right there. Okay? So once I've got all of my uh, four selected and I leave all of these defaults the same, I'm going to press OK. It's going to open up a new file type. Now you're going to need to just hover your mouse over the page and have a look and see what view you're getting. So in my case, I might need to change my orientation to the top view and look what happens. That looks like my plane parts, doesn't it? The next thing I want to check is my scale. I need a scale of one to one because we want a full scale sketch. And you can see now that looks correct. So I'm going to click on my page and then I'm going to press OK. Then I'm going to go up to my sheet settings, expand the view and turn off the sheet size and the title block. The last step is as follows. I'm going to click and then right click and go into this little drop down menu here select export and export the sheet as a dxf you're going to need to save that file so give it a name my name plain parts for laser okay and make sure that your file type is dxf and press save and that's it guys that's the file that you'll need to put onto your usb for myself or mr crow to laser cut thanks for watching